Are you ready for a Legend of Zelda movie or TV series by Netflix? Now, there was a rumor about this years ago. I mean, God, it had to be three, four, five years ago uh, that this came up. And things were kind of shot down at the time uh, as maybe all it was was a proposal and it never really went anywhere. Well, guess what? Uh, it's back. And not only is it back, we know who might be playing Link. And it's someone a lot of you guys are going to recognize. Now, before I get into it, i got to remind you we have two giveaways going on right now. One for three copies of Super Mario 3D All-Stars. To enter, go down in the description. Gleam.io link will send you to where you need to go. Get all your entries in. You can also join Patreon at patreon.com slash Nintendo Prime uh, for as little as $1 a month. Gets you 15 entries into every giveaway we do. We also have a second giveaway for a Switch Lite and then two Switch games of choice. So three winners, six total winners for the whole month. There's a laundry list of ways down in the description to enter, including subscribing to the channel, following on Twitter, all that jazz. Uh, all right, let's get into this because holy crud, here we go. So this comes from wegotthiscovered.com. Uh, and... This is, I'm just going to read it out. I'm, I'm tingling over here. I got goosebumps. Uh, there have been rumors that Nintendo and Netflix are collaborating on a Legend of Zelda project for some time. Again, I mentioned this already. The exact form it'll take has been unclear. Basically, TV show, movie. But sources close to WGTC, the same ones who leaked that Ben Affleck is returning for The Flash, that's been confirmed, and that a Witcher prequel is in development, say that a movie and a TV show are both being discussed. And furthermore, Netflix is eyeing Tom Holland to play the lead role of Link. Yeah, Tom Holland, Marvel's Spider-Man actor. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, now, there's no comment from Tom Holland's people at this point. They've been reached out to. Uh, no confirmation or anything. Uh, has been given, nor would there be. There, there, nothing like this is going to be confirmed until it would be officially announced. Um, you know, it, it'll be interesting because Link's always been kind of a silent protagonist. Uh, but you know, uh, you, you kind of have to go with the flow. So, next year is you know Zelda's 35th anniversary, and we know there's going to be a bunch of stuff announced for next year. Uh, you know, th th there's has to be. Breath of the Wild Two is probably going to come uh, to complete the Breath of the Wild trilogy can we believe we're calling it a trilogy uh on top of that uh there's probably going to be some sort of collection pack it, if not bare minimum and twilight princess hd and the wind waker hd brought over even if they're sold individually for 60 dollars, which i really hope nintendo doesn't do but you know this is nintendo they might do it and they might not give us a collection pack whatever the point is uh that they're going to do a lot of stuff for zelda it'll probably be zelda merchandise now that nintendo is working with lego you can you have to know there's going to be zelda lego sets in the works as well but what I find really interesting about this idea of a Netflix TV show or, or, or movie series uh, and, and Tom Holland, which I, I think is a fine actor to, to put as Link, um, is just that I, I'm i kind of at a loss uh, for, for how they could announce this and how this could work. Because I don't know, if the, would the movie or show be ready for next year? I doubt that with COVID this year, you know, not a lot of things are being recorded in 2020, but it could be announced next year and then releasing the, the, the following year. That is something that could happen. Uh, and Nintendo hasn't been shying away that, you know, the, the Mario movie that they're making uh, with Illumination, you know, that movie that they announced is, is slated for 2022. Uh, there's now a Mario uh, animated thing happening out in Japan as well. Little short animations. Uh, we always obviously know about the Pikmin stuff, but we haven't seen like a live action anything from Nintendo since I guess the Super Mario Brothers movie, um, and we all know that wasn't necessarily received well. Although to be fair, I am a fan of that. But the idea of a Legend of Zelda Netflix TV show or movie is interesting, and the fact that you know the one reason I don't believe it's next year is because their sources, so we got discover.com's sources is saying. Uh, that they, they have, they're not exactly sure what form. So what we're saying, you know, is that we don't know if it's a TV show or a movie. All right. So originally, when this rumor popped up a couple years back, it w it was announced as a TV show. But um, yeah, like it, whether or not you know it, it could have converted into a movie instead. Um, I don't know. I'm that this has me. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm tingling. Um, now as for Tom Holland. Obviously, he's best known for his role as Spider-Man. Uh, and I really liked what he did with the character. 
You know, every Spider-Man film, uh, when you get the new actors in, just like with the Batman stuff, they, they put their own spin on it. And I don't always like, you know, especially with Batman, I haven't always liked every actor that's put, but you know, taken over the role. But I feel like Tom Holland put a really nice spin in, in a different type of personality. I know some of it's the writing, of course. Uh, but a different spin and a different personality onto the Spider-Man character. And I really enjoyed that. Now, I, you know he's probably not done. There's, there's probably going to be more Spider-Man movies, at least one more. But it, it I, I just kind of think that uh, him as Link makes a lot of sense. Uh, the one thing that's obviously a little off would be that well, Link has blonde hair traditionally, and he doesn't. Obviously, that could be dyed, that could be changed, it could be a wig. Uh, I don't know. Maybe this Link in this one will won't have blonde hair. After all, it's a TV series, and we've never had a live action series now this obviously brings the question you know who are you gonna have play zelda zelda has to be in the game right even if she's not a princess she has to be in the game or in the game in the tv show see it's so hard for me to even wrap my mind around that we're talking about a tv show or a movie so zelda you know someone's got to be play zelda in there uh you know someone's got to play probably ganon or ganondorf someone's got to play the, some of these big characters so i i don't really know we could start you know typecasting and dreaming in fact you know what down in the comments below, I want you to create your ideal cast list for all these characters. Now, remember, we're going to stick with Tom Holland because that's what the rumor is. So that Tom Holland is Link. So then, based on Tom Holland being Link, who else would you cast for a TV show uh, or movie? And what characters would they play? Uh, I'm very interested to see this come to fruition. Uh, I'm not actually surprised to see this come back around because I think when the original proposal was being made... Nintendo might not have been super serious about pursuing something like that yet, but then Breath of the Wild blew up. And once Breath of the Wild blew up, Nintendo's probably like, you know what? We have an opportunity here with Zelda at the height of its popularity to really expand. So teaming with Netflix would seemingly make a lot of sense. Plus, Netflix did a really good job with Ready Player One. I know it's not like a direct video game adaption, but I'm just I'm just pointing out, you know, actually, you want to talk about video game adaptions, the Castlevania stuff, uh, you know, the Witcher series. I mean, could it be that the Witcher series helped convince Nintendo to go through this? Because the Witcher on Netflix is excellent. Like, primo excellent. I get it's technically a book adaption, not a video game adaption. But a lot of the world knows about the Witcher because of the video game. In fact, the, the Witcher kind of helped sell the Witcher 3 on Switch. So, I'm really hoping that, uh, beyond hope, that this is real. Um, again, this is a place that uh, has already been correct with other things, and the same source that was correct on those things is telling them that this is happening, that Tom Holland, Legend of Zelda TV show or movie is happening. Whew. What a story, huh? All right, folks, I'll catch you in the next video.